What's up YouTube, it's Steve and I'm back with another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to pair your PS4 remote with your Mac computer. So stay tuned. So the process to pair this, uh, rem this uh, PS4 remote with your Mac computer is really simple. The first thing you want to do is make sure your Bluetooth is on. If not, then you want to go into your Bluetooth preferences and turn it on. In this case, since it's already on, um, you're going to need to go into your system uh, Bluetooth preferences anyway. So what we want to do is click the Bluetooth icon. Mine looks like this because I already have Bluetooth items hooked up to it. But what you want to do is scroll all the way down to open Bluetooth preferences. So what you want to do is you want to open up your Bluetooth uh, menu right here you can see the other Bluetooth items that are already connected but what you want to do is take the PS4 controller and press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time until the light on the bottom of your uh, remote starts flashing once you see that it's in pairing mode and you will see it on the screen here so what we see it as so what we see it as here is wireless controller and it's in pair mode we want to go ahead and pair it so just like that we see it is connected now to see if it actually works we're, what we're going to do is load up a game and check it out so as we can see right here we've got a classic up on the screen Nintendo Pro Wrestling this is probably one of the first games that I ever bought on the uh, Nintendo but in order to get started alright so you can use the uh, directional pads here to select which wrestler you want to use one of my favorites was always King Slender alright so with that we are going to hit start it around and you can Oh, there we go, suplex. And you pause using the options button. So with that, that's basically it. That's all you have to do in order to pair your PS4 controller with your Mac computer and use it to play games. Okay, so here you can see it's still connected. Once you're ready to disconnect it, all you have to do is move over, click on this X button. You'll get a message here that says, are you sure you want to remove wireless controller? You have to pair this device again if you want to use it later. Simply click remove and it is unpaired and that's it so if you guys have any questions any comments or issues please let me know those down in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next video peace